Hello, this is Victoria Wynn. I am going to shoot this video in real time, which is really crazy because I'm notorious for dumping things, spilling things, and making big messes. There will be no editing. This is Lux Water Effects, and it's clogged up. <laughs> this is why live videos <laughs> are so challenging. So I'm just gonna take the lid right off because we don't have time to screw around. Lux Water Effects is a resin alternative and it does a beautiful job when it comes to marbling. It will also seal your glasses. So in case one goes into the dishwasher, we can all hope that our kids don't do that. But I had five kids and there's some crazy stuff that ended up in the dishwasher. So I am not using a specific turner right now. My hand is the turner. Um, I recommend having a turner though. <laughs> now I do have one. I just wanted to shoot this video real quick. So all I'm doing is making sure I'm getting this around the edges. The water effects may be a bit more. Now this glass is just from Dollar Tree. Just picked it up this morning. And these are acrylic inks. Got to make sure to turn. So just a few drops and then turn and turn. You remember you are your own turner. <laughs> so don't forget to do the turning part. Acrylic inks. Um, I'm really enjoying them because of the non-toxic. Um, that just I paint with kids around, dogs, friends, and that is why I'm just a big proponent of the non-toxic thing, but you can do this with resin just as easily, but do not attempt with resin what I'm about to do with the Lux Water Effects, which is use my hands. That is something I do love about the water effects is you just wash it off. Um, I have baby wipes by me all the time. Not because it's gonna like hurt my skin or anything, but <clears throat> it's so sticky. <laughs> so I love Lux water effects and it's so sticky. So this is the fun part where you get to just marble, <clears throat> excuse me, and, you know, find the, the meditative aspects of this form of art. <clears throat> My goodness, I hope that clears up real quick. I have a TV segment today on our um, NBC station here. And it would be really nice if I uh, wasn't having to clear my throat through it. I feel fine, but okay. So let me show you the bottles real quick that I'm using and try not to spill it. Liquitex, acrylic ink, and then this iridescent one, it's called it's just called gold, it looks like. Okay, now this glass is kind of a tinted um, charcoal color. You know, I feel like I need one more color of ink. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, if I set this down this way, it's all gonna drip off. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to walk away while I'm spinning the glass and trying to not drip on my floor. Oh, live videos. All right, why don't I just bring my whole bin right here? Uh, well, I've got a couple bins, but this bin in particular is my um, violets, golds, and bronzes. And then I have another bin full of blues, teals, and greens. I'm trying to do this all one-handed. All right. Yeah, the 
this deep um, like fuchsia color is gorgeous. Yep, that was the ticket. So how do you choose your colors? I do it honestly based on mood and then also um, like in this case, I just knew it needed a little bit of color. But I'm curious how you pick your colors. For me, typically mood. Okay, here we go. Next step, while this is still wet, um, oh, there we go. Moon dust, glow powder, and this is like the final amazing step. Just to sprinkle it. You're gonna let it dry for uh, maybe just an hour. It's not gonna take very long. And then once it's all dry, with a damp cloth, just wipe off the excess. But moon dust, so let's all take guesses. Obviously I'm doing this in real time right now, so I do not know what color. Now moon dust usually, it glows white. But when we have a color, it tends to reflect and pick up the color beneath it, which is such a cool, cool effect. Now, do you think it's going to glow white or it's going to pick up the purple or the bronze? What do you think it's going to do? Comment below. And then I will show, I'm just getting a little bit of the excess while I'm chatting with you. And then I will show the color that it ends up glowing. But typically, I mean, moon dust, if you were to use the moon dust powder and just add it to a white background or a black background, boom, it's just gonna, it's gonna look just like the moon, like a bright white. But when we add to color, it does some really magical things. Anyways, guys, all right, comment below. Let me know what color you think the moon dust powder is going to glow based on the color palette that I use. And also comment with any questions and wish me luck. <laughs> um, I am just in sweats and a hoodie right now, but uh, I need to get going and clear my throat and get prepared. Gotta load up my car with all the uh, materials, it's like a, a whole box of things. Every time I do an NBC segment, I have to bring a quite, quite the tote of um, items. Anyways, guys, I love ya. Windmodernart.com for the Luxe Water Effects and for our glow powders.